Hello and welcome back to the last spell. We're doing we're doing stuff. The Haven the Haven starts with plus one here. That could be good. Uh, heroes have the leapfrog perk. Uh, all types of ranged defenses have their skills improved. I like this one. I took that one last time, and that's I think partially why I was able to defend so well. Traps have a thirty three percent chance of not using a charge when being triggered. I like that as well. Um, and then I think the rest will, will just like, I don't know, um, extra armor. Um, heroes have the potion throw perk enabled. I wonder if that costs them a perk. Haven starts with plus one hero. That sounds really good. Um, I, I like this just like extra damage, extra move, extra mana. Let's take those. I could definitely get some more perks and I will be. Don't, don't you worry. I, I'm going to be doing that and uh, wait what set an apocalypse okay cool Glenwald Glenwald let's uh, predict what kind of horrible boss we're gonna have based on the surroundings I think my worst fear is that there's gonna be no environmental surroundings aha yeah that would be it wouldn't it we're starting with a tier three are you kidding me though Oh god, okay, so we're in the woods and I'm not seeing any like there's nothing blocked off, right? Um, up until now we've had at least one chunk of the map that we Can rely on for like not having to defend too well um, So the lake cut off like a good corner of the whole map and then before that we only had to defend Three sides so things are obviously getting spicier. It looks like we have a shrine this is kind of a like some kind of Dark Souls stuff going on or Elden Ring. Um, I like this like graveyard. That's really cool. And we have some like wood. I'm, th I'm expecting some kind of treants or something. Tree? I am not a tree. Um, okay, so we're obviously going to throw everyone uh, at the edge here. I am. Let's just like have a quick look at where the borders oh we can't build we're in deployment okay uh i guess we have to we could you know defend this little what is what is wrong with our lad here he does not look okay florian oh i see he's got a beard that's kind of melting into his face a little bit he looks odd um no judgment on on their part all right let's go ahead and uh do it We've got a druid staff, we've got a bow, and we've got a sword. Let's just go ahead and put the sword dude up in front, and this will be fine. We have new music. I kind of already don't like this. Didn't realize how spread out they were going to be. Um, all right, we can use some, some poison. Yeah, that was good. Uh, we'll just like, I, we don't have like an infinite supply of mana, so we just got to make sure that the fast lads die. All right, that was good. Um, let's, uh, we'll do our corners first and then we can see, we can reassess how, how we're going to use our sword lad. So we do have a, uh, good bow and arrow person. Uh, that means we have rain of arrows for the first time in a while. Let's do this. I like Reign of Arrows. It's one of my favorite little skills. Uh, I really thought I was going to kill those lads, but I guess I I did not kill them. So now we're going to have to go over here and uh, finish the job. Actually, before we do that, let's, let's do this properly. Um, why don't we... We have six action points, so we should be able to come here, kill this lad. Oh, we have... This, this gives us movement. Okay, that's good actually because that means we can just kind of move our way through here And kill this lad and there we go. That's pretty good um, We could use a potion of energy to cover this last these last few guys. We have nothing kind of like oh God, it's already bad, isn't it? I'm not happy um this is already going to be really bad well there's a really decent rain of arrows we can be grateful for that 
and then we can i don't know what can we do kill these three lads um power shot this guy didn't die do it again there's a there's a fast lad there so that's that's gonna be um you know a problem we need to kill this guy for sure and kill him and one more maybe nope okay so uh over here is somewhat of a situation but we have our best like um mass executioner over here like he he's gonna do the best job i think of killing a, a large a number of enemies we can also slow some of them down, but I honestly think it would be better just like focus damage a couple of them. This guy did not get poisoned. That's a problem. Does this have opportunism? It does. Well, that's good. Um, I'm actually, I think uh, using a, one of these entangles would be better. And do we have anything else we can do? I could take a, uh, we got, we started with a potion of energy, so we could do that. Heavy drinker. I just got a achievement. We can we can do some extra hits. Oh, that was really nothing, huh? Okay. All right. Well, um, we'll, we'll let's see how this goes. Like things are getting very purposely more challenging. But also, they're just like throwing a lot at me in this first round. Um, okay, we can do something spicy like this. Nice. We could do another one of those. But we need to move this guy out of the way, which is fine because he needs to kill some of these guys. Actually, let's not move him just yet. We'll, we'll kill them first and then move. Um, okay, let's do this cool move. Oh, I killed I killed one of his targets. That was dumb Can we Get both of these guys in a rain of arrows. No We can get these three lads in a rain of arrows though. That's not bad Take that And he's out <clears throat> Um yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not feeling good about this. I won't lie But you know, I don't think I'm supposed to feel good about it Let's uh, let's get this guy in a good old poison and I just want to like kill what's in front of me. I guess these guys it's it doesn't seem worth it But I'm gonna use one for just these three lads kill this guy and then, um, I guess I'll use an entangle and, uh, just to make sure I stop this guy from moving in, I could use another potion of energy just to, you know, try and kill a couple of these extra dudes. Well, the potion of energy only gives one extra uh, action point. I thought it would offer two. Okay. Well, uh, there's these two guys in the center that are going to be a problem, but we're almost done the night. Oh, there's another dude all the way over there. Ouch. Okay, we're taking some we're taking a beating here. Um I would really like well we this guy's got the uh, he's he's got a debuff on him, so opportunism should kill him. There we go. And uh oh god, this is awful. Well, hopefully we get a good old yeah, that uh, that um propagation worked out really well. Um, would love to get these three guys wish they were connected, but um, that's gonna be enough for now I want to get those two axe dudes in one uh, entangle and I'm gonna have to come over here and deal with these guys Let's just uh, maybe that was bad Okay, let's kill this guy with a normal attack. God damn it. Wish wish I could have killed him with a normal attack. It's fine. Um, the, the important part is that we have two power shots for this guy or at least yeah, let's use both on him 
and um it's looking pretty sparse over here except for that one dude that's gonna like mvp his way over there um i wonder if i can do some tricky stuff here no no you need a target actually okay well i guess i may as well kill this lad and then run over it as much as possible sucks that he can't um get that guy we can do a rain of arrows we've got a couple of good choices here that's a good one makes a good start on that that big lad poison it just it just does some really good stuff i love the druid staff a lot because in addition to doing um, really good mass damage the fact that you can slow units down is kind of a double benefit because it means the poison damage is going to do more damage um you know like it, it's going to be more relevant but also it means that we it buys us a bit more time for the stuff that hurts the most like you can really target um you know focus on the the guys that are gonna hurt the most um which i really appreciate okay let's just uh actually let's do a rain of arrows i'm not sure why i'm wasting time with uh those small hits and then we can hit these two lads uh, and then let's get that last lad in a nice poison sweep. That's probably going to kill everything else. Oh, we missed that one dude. That's fine. We have an extra action point. There we go. They're dead. We can get this guy over here. So that's good. Kill. And that's it. That's it. We made it. We took a little bit of damage. But uh, everyone leveled up, which is the important part. We got an item. We got an S rank. Uh, fortunately, we only have to care worry about one side again, although I assume that's going to change real quick. Okay, um... I want to do workers first. Um, but I guess what I want to do is spend my money. I almost wonder, like, would it be better to buy as many gold mines as I can right away? Oh, I can't quite get two gold mines. Well, okay, if I buy one, then I should be able to... How, how much would it give me? 25 gold? If I upgraded it and then used it, it should give me enough to build... Yeah, just, just barely. This is some really hacky garbage. Um, the more, the main, like the, these give passive gold, right? So hopefully we're uh, like, I'm just like putting as much resources as I possibly can towards, um, growth. And, um, like, I'd love to like, maybe on the next turn, I can upgrade some of these houses. I would love to have more houses. Uh, as it happens, I'm actually going to have an extra worker. So why don't we just like throw them at something now? Is it worth putting them on one of these like corpse piles? This is going to give us 38 materials and four gold. This would give us 32 materials. So I, I don't actually think that these corpse piles are ever worth it. If you have any kind of ruins that you can focus on. Um, and I do think that uh, well, we could get the gold. But that wouldn't really we wouldn't be able to do anything with it. So I actually think that 38 materials is more valuable overall. Um, let's put our, our dudes back. We don't have a lot of mana, but we should have enough to go through another night like that. We're going to get our first item. Ooh, worn light armor. Very good armor dodge bonus. Good stuff. Uh, extra move and block. This is actually a really decent shield, but yeah, I mean, it's not going to beat this armor piece. Um, so let's see who can use that armor piece. Probably the person who's going to be in the line of fire the most, which is going to be our sword user. So let's go ahead and give that to them. We'll level them up as well. Um, I think making them, uh, a damage sponge with some block is going to be a good idea. Isolation is an interesting idea. 
I think opportun uh, I always think that opportunism is good, but I don't think it's good for a melee user because the, per the, the the enemies they're going to be doing the most damage to with opportunism are the ones that the druid is probably focusing on. Um, I think reliability is probably better off overall. We don't get as much percentage, but we're more likely to see the benefit of that reliability over um, isolation. Uh, now, giving them poison is a great idea, I think. If we keep them melee and then give them poison and then increase their stun chance, maybe we'll give them a better melee weapon down the road. I just really like poison, okay? It's just, like, always good, in my opinion. We could give them sprint. Ah, I like this. We could look at maybe giving them cheer, but I, I never make the full use of cheer. All right, so we've got our uh, archer. Uh, giving them move points is actually a really good idea. Accuracy is good. Two extra move points. I kind of have to jump on that if I can. Skill range is also really good. Doesn't improve their damage, but it's going to improve their flexibility so they could probably hit more than one thing per round. Uh, now they actually don't have great skills. I'm not a huge fan. Okay, they've got, uh, they've got this assassin line. I really like this for a ranged user and we could switch um kind of pivot them to a crossbow later so i'm just gonna go ahead and, and start this whole isolation tree going right away and then finally we've got florian florian is our druid um we could give them health that health is actually really nice and there's reasons to give them health because like you know there's uh some pretty good benefits to doing health um, I mean, outside of the obvious choice, you know what I you know, but, um, yeah, I'm not actually a huge fan of this guy's perks, especially if they're the druid. Um, maybe we pivot this guy to being our druid. That actually seems like a not terrible idea. So the one thing, like we wasted a couple of perks giving them block. It's not like block isn't good for them. Block is good for them. So let's go ahead and swap these guys. Because um, I, I do really like having a druid. I also really, you know, I like having a uh, sword person. Giving them fatality isn't a terrible idea. Um, every four enemies killed. Give them cheer. Uh, I, I, this guy's armor is increased with daily health regen. Uh, yeah, I just like, um, not a huge fan of this guy. I might end up like getting rid of them and buying someone else if I'm being honest. I'll give them extra health now that I've pivoted them to, um, a melee user. And, um, I guess reliability, I kind of just want to reroll these propagation bounces. That's hilarious after I pivoted them away from poison. I'm not going to uh, double back on them that. I'm going to give them daily health, health regen because I think they do have that. They could get some extra armor for the daily health regen. So that's actually kind of worthwhile. Um, not terrible. Not not ter not terrible. So Florian, you're over here. Uh, did I give you... I didn't give you the staff, so you would have been like a complete set, a sitting duck. You have enough tainted essence. I don't care. I'm going to be you know hoarding that. And we're going to be... Uh, now, the problem here is that they've gone ahead and given me walls that I can't shoot through. So that sucks. Um, but that being said, we have enough for only... My math is bad. Only three ballistas. So let's go ahead and throw them all on one side. I hate this lamppost. Why Why do we got to be building lampposts that can't be uprooted or destroyed? I wonder, like, the fact that it blocks the ballistas is really dumb. I wonder if uh, it'll block a mounted ballista. It says the mounted ballista says it has vision, so I assume that nothing blocks them. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and, you know, kind of skew our guys more to over the, on the left side because the ballistas should be doing some good work on their own. They, I don't have enough for even one um, upgrade to them. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, call it on that. To the walls!
I honestly don't mind if these guys just want to like tear up this little ruin shrine. Um, well, it looks like our druid's gonna have to move back over because his best assets are gonna be over here. Uh, he does have a chance of stunning lads now. Uh, kind of. Well, he can't really reach anything else. So we're just gonna have him, you know, kill a couple of things, whatever he can. Oh, miss. Yeah, because these guys have pretty good dodge. Miss again, huh? Nice. Good job with that miss. All right, we're gonna have our sword guy dedicated over here. A sword does have momentum. Um, I'm, I'm really not a huge fan of the sword, I gotta say. Okay, we can do that. That's a kind of janky way of um, moving him. It didn't really buy us anything, though, so it is what it is. Keon, you have some lads to kill. I gotta make sure that we include this fast lad over here because they can they can oh my god miss All right They can do uh, some pretty nasty damage Given the right circumstance Ugh. Ugh. Okay, Wh whatever it's fine uh, There's another fast lad. I, I really should have focused on them now. I have a problem to deal with Wish those ballistas would have dealt with him. You're gonna pay for that. Um, Druids got their work cut out for them. They're just gonna go ahead and uh, I actually want to hit this guy here because there's a nice pile of bodies over there to poison. And I did poison, uh, stun a couple of lads, which is nice. Um, bow person's got some good stuff to do here. Please don't miss. All right, cool. Don't miss again. All right, nice. Kill this lad. Cool. All right. Good job. Kill that lad. All right. Rain of arrows. Uh, over here, maybe? Some good choices over there. We don't have to focus on the poison lads. Oh, there's a there's a fast lad over there. All right. Let's do this. It's kind of a waste, but it's it means we don't have to worry about that guy later. Okay. Kill this person. Um, let's get a couple of poison things going on over there. There's a pretty good connection here. I think that'll work. Nope, didn't work. That's fine. So why don't we just go ahead and use the Enfeeble, or uh, sorry, Entangle to, to stop that fast dude from moving too far. Um, we'll see if maybe we can take them out anyway. Yeah, kind of a waste, but it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. Nice. And then we'll use our last point for Brace. And that's pretty good. Um, Florian's the only one with action points left, but he can't really use them, so we're good. Oof. We have our first, like, ch big dude, Elite. Which, uh, insane that we're already seeing some of that stuff this early on. Alright, let's see if we can do some fun stuff here. Uh, maybe not, actually. Well, he can bust through these guys. Can he do that again? Not bad. Kind of want to keep going with him. He should use these potions. Like, there's no reason not to use them. Go ahead and use another potion. Why not? Plenty of reasons why not. But uh, we'll, we're also going to move him away, hopefully, so that um, Druid here can uh, poison this group of baddies. Uh, what I'd like to do is ensure that we poison that guy over there. I don't think it's gonna happen I, I Unfortunately, don't think it's gonna happen. We'll try Nope, it propagated the wrong way. I love when that happens So what we're gonna do is we're gonna in entangle these guys over here and hopefully they're gonna slow down the people behind them Same for those they're just gonna become kind of like annoying obstacles for uh for lads. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll start hitting this guy with the rain of arrows that might kill him Nope, did it actually miss him? I don't think it did I think it, it, it did hit him, but he's just like very beefy 
Uh, hitting him with poison would have been like perfect. We would have had a actually pretty good round if not for that. Okay, so they're going to start hitting our actual walls pretty soon. Okay, he's taking armor damage. He's taking armor damage, but no one took any health damage, which is just fine. Uh, would love to hit these guys with poison. Unfortunately, we're kind of in the thick of it right now. So I'm going to move our sword lad over and free up, you know, free our dude up. I'm, I'm kind of thinking this right here is not bad. We destroyed that pillar, but who cares? And now we can get over here and then kill that lad. Nice. That was actually really good. Good use of movement. Um, now we want to just like hit as many people as we can. So it's good to start on the end there. Oh, that's, not, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, and then we'll just like work our way on the other side here. Hopefully it doesn't go right. It didn't go right. Perfect. Um... And yeah, that uh, uh, the the entangle did work really well well for us. Um, I there's a really good rain of arrows there. I can't resist it. It's it's just too good not to, to you know to, to to pass up. I would do want to kill that lad if we can. Unfortunately, his he's got armor, so that means we have to work through his armor. All right, I think that things are okay on this right side. Um, left side, you know, there's questions for sure, but we can uh, we can slow these guys down. This guy too. Cool. Um, yeah, I think that that's gonna work out. We'll back this guy up a bit. Oh, there's this one lad here. He's gonna be kind of a problem. Miss, nice. All right, he took his first chunk of damage. Not a problem. Um, and we'll come over here and we'll blast through these guys. And then we'll come over here and then blast through these guys. I want to kill this. Oh, miss. Don't miss again, please. Okay, cool. Uh, I do want to poison this, like, small group here. Yeah. Oh, we missed that last dude. That was... That's not okay. Yeah. The druid is really not uh, good for um, killing, like, one person at a time. You really... They're, they're meant to do mass damage. So we're out of mana. So we can no longer do Reign of Arrows. So why don't we just go ahead and weaken some of these guys up? We do want to kill things, because that means we'll get the XP. But I want to weaken some guys up so that the Ballistas just take them out. And we're out of action points. Nice. I am a little bit concerned. I don't think I saw anyone with the ballista bonus so that means they're not going to be getting xp from ballistas or traps and it also means that we're not going to be um you know the ballistas aren't going to be doing as much damage as i'm used to <clears throat> so that's uh that's kind of not okay i won't lie i'm not a fan of any of that Go ahead and kill that lad. And uh, we'll just let this guy kill this guy. These guys over here. And then why not just let them kill those two over there. And there we go. Nice. Everyone leveled up. Everyone's level four. This is good. S rank. That's what I like to see at the very least. So, oh god, okay, we're getting hit from all three sides. Or I say, just, we are getting hit from three sides. Everyone leveled up twice. Now that's interesting. That is actually very interesting. Let's get our knight reward first. Um, not terrible stuff. Opportunism. I don't know how I feel about that right now. Poison damage. 
Get that poison damage. I probably lean on poison maybe a little bit too much. But I just, I really like it. I don't actually think that poisonous, like, at the end of the hero's turn, apply 35 poison. I don't think that that's going to be very useful for um, the druid, ironically. We'll give them contamination for now. And I also want to give them more mana. Plus three, six mana increased by three for each level of the hero. I think that that's just going to be good for them. We'll give them more damage. More armor is very tempting, but I think that more mana is just going to be the way to go. Uh, daily health regen is interesting. Critical power is also interesting. Kind of like the idea of stun chance also. Magic damage is going to make them do more damage with um, their poison, but and there's just too many good options here. Do they have the armor perk? They actually do, so why don't we give them more daily health regen, and then we can maybe see about uh, giving them this perk later. Oh yeah, poison damage. Heck yeah. Perfect. Um, Keon. Keon with the move points. Could be worth it. Uh, resistance reduction is actually really decent. I don't know if it's really decent with range, but it's really decent. Giving them extra damage is not a terrible idea. Giving them poison damage, I mean, it's, I don't think that's going to be worth it. I actually kind of want to re-roll these. Uh, yeah, let's re-roll them. Isolation. There we go. Instantly better. Um, isolation. Reroll. Nah, let's give him isolation. Give him that isolation. And then when attacking unit with full health, the attack gets plus 15% critical. That's not bad. And we get another perk, right? I forgot about that. Um, less health, but more critical is tempting. They're already pretty not good for health, so I don't think I should do that. Unlock the sprint skill, allowing to restore move points to exchange in exchange for some health. Um, giving them some extra mana would be every two attacks from the hero dodged by at least one unit, restore one action point. Unlocks the mark skill, allows the de to debuff the target's dodge. I, uh, I don't really like that. Why don't we give them an extra bag equipment slot? I think that'll come in handy later. All right, Florian. Extra armor is not a bad idea. Do you have the, you don't have the poison slot. Okay. What do you have? You have opportunism. I don't think that's good for you. I think you're not a good, um, I don't think you're very good. I'll be honest. We'll give you damage. Maybe we'll, we'll, you know, turn you around more move points isn't terrible for you if you if you're gonna do uh momentum give you physical damage sure critical power uh no opportunism no stun chance sure i'll give you stun chance because then we could give them plus 15 percent stun chance here and then now, now i want to give them a hammer if we can get them a hammer that would actually be decent um and then i'm gonna give them spiky counter I think that that would be good. I, I'm, I'm going to give them like all of this. We'll just like give them all of that. Um, we have more gold. We need to spend our gold to make more gold, unfortunately. So I'm going to start by putting down another gold mine. But that's that's it now. Now we can focus on um, improving our how many workers we have. So let's get a worker there. Although we should also... Um, like and upgrade the gold mines so at the very least it doesn't cost two workers and then we're gonna make that back we'll throw a worker there throw a worker there and then throw a worker there and then we're gonna get that all of that back the workers you use the workers to make the money and then you make them you spend the money to get more workers right do you see do you see how it works literally um and then we spend the money to get more houses so that we can get more workers to make more money so that's all of our money spent more or less uh i don't think we can do anything else yo okay never mind i was i was i think i had a brainerism you know 
Um, do we have we have some money? It would be worth looking at some items. Oh, I wish I could buy that hammer. That's a good hammer. This is the problem with looking at the items in the store is you're not going to, especially early on, is you're not going to be able to afford any of them. So it just sucks. <laughs> it just sucks and you're going to feel bad. <clears throat> All right. Let's, uh, let's ensure that I give that poison thing to our druid since I went ahead and bought it. We can't afford any more gear, but what we can do is we can destroy one of these ruins. Um, I'm surprised there's no elite corpse yet, despite the fact that we've killed several elites. Let's go ahead and get some more materials. And um, we're going to go ahead and build a couple of ballistas. I'd like to do uh, three ballistas would be 120, so we could do three ballistas at like three sides no sorry not three sides two sides what is wrong with my brain really sucks that they're hitting us from the three sides that we haven't improved at all i mean i guess that's why they're doing that are these trees gonna like be a problem like are, are they destroyable indestructible Oh, good lord. Okay. Hey, we can afford to build a mana well. So let's go ahead and do that. I like that idea. Uh, we can't dedicate any workers to it, but we can at least get a little bit of our mana back. And uh, things are actually coming around. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. Uh, I'm not happy with how some of this is looking, but it is fine. We have one ballista over there. I, I have a funny feel feeling that ballistas are not going to be as helpful in this. Uh, I guess once we upgrade them, the upgrade to um, give them vision is going to be much more valuable this time. So I think that that is it. Now we just have to distrib distribute everyone to one side. Um, all right. I, I don't think there's any way to kind of min-max that, to be honest. Whoa, is it darker than usual or is it just my imagination? Uh, actually, I actually think they're in a pretty good position to hit a bunch of them. Might be a good idea to just actually angle them this way, so that way, uh, unless they don't get vision. I guess they do get vision over the stumps. But, eh, it's kind of, kind of hit or miss. That's a, that's a joke. Oh, we managed to kill everything over here. That's pretty good. Let's move them back so that they have options. Um, hmm. There we go. Moving back. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. We could do better. This guy needs more movement. He's not good for movement right now. It's it's kind of shortchanging him a little bit. Now, this guy, I mean, we really don't have a lot to worry about over here. just like poison them and then focus damage this guy a little bit ah oh, he is not dead i guess i could have done contamination but this doesn't really bias anything well i'll tell you what it does buy is there's a chance like these guys will be primed and ready for when they're a bit surrounded and they die from poison Oh God. I don't, I don't like what's happening over there. 
Uh, well, let's kill this lad and spread some poison. Witness me. Yeah, nice, nice reference there, bud. Um, all right, let's kill, get these guys nice and poisoned. And I kind of want to just in like entangle these guys a little bit. Just like choke off this whole point. And um, it looks like he can't move that far. Looks like he can't move at all because he's only got three movement. So let's just like move this guy a little bit. Now, um, I don't like what's going on over here. Uh, at, like at all. Okay, can we kill that lad? Yeah, we can. That's good. Kind of want to focus a little bit uh, our bow person on, on helping our, our hero over here. This isn't bad. And actually, that gives us a little bit of breathing room to, like, get these kills in here. Because we move with it. Miss. Can't You can't be missing, dude. Yes, yes, yes. Blood, blood, blood. I get it. Very good. Um, unfortunately, there's a stump there, so we can't we can't do our super move. Uh, yeah, I really I'm not a huge fan at all with any of that. Can we shoot through this wall? Yeah, we can. How can why can't? Oh, I guess these are blockers, so that's why we can't see behind them. Um, that is a darn shame. Let's just kill this guy cool uh okay <laughs> that one ballist over there doing some work oh my god he's almost dead uh i, I i'm not sure what to do about that because he's still got work to do We're out of mana on this side, so now... Now what? Now what? God, I, I, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. We can kill those three lads. Kill that guy. Oh, we're out of action points. Okay, let's drink our potion. Let's drink another potion. Um. Well, it's something. Uh. I this uh, this, this over here is is looking okay, I guess. I uh, yeah. The, the 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 hope I had from the last episode is gone. <laughs> Ain't no way we're making it through this. But um, you know we can try for sure. Oh, let's go ahead and contagion a couple of these guys who are about to die from poison damage. Nice. And I'm gonna entangle these three guys over here, just to ensure that they don't do anything. Yeah, it did a little bit of damage. That's not bad. We're almost there. Hold on tight. Miss. Okay, he's not dead. He's not dead. He could have so easily been dead there. Alright, let's do a poison swarm here. Seems obvious. Nice. Let's kill this lad. Nope. Okay, I just wanted to sure, make sure I had enough uh, action points to do another swarm, which we did. Luckily, this guy has enough poison or um, mana to, to get the job done. Contagion is uh, filling in the blanks a little bit. Okay, uh, I am still worried for our lad here who is not done yet. I'm gonna kill that lad and then we'll kill these three guys here cool 
Can we kill this guy, do you think? No. No, we can't. And I can't really dedicate more resources. If I move over here, can I reach him? No. God, he's just like so annoyingly out of the way. Um, we have four action points. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna dedicate some more energy to killing these lads because uh, our dude here is not well. He's not okay. He may very well die right now. Okay, he's all right. Maybe maybe he's okay. Please don't kill him. Don't have diagonal. Okay, cool. Uh, awesome. Let's just kill him there and then we can uh, I guess we can't do that. Oh God. What, what have I done? Now I have to dedicate more energy. God, the sword user is kind of a, a liability more than an asset. Please. You need to kill these guys on the first try. Ugh. Three shots to kill that one dude. Well, the good news is that we're clear on that side. Um, over here is looking pretty good. We got a, a little bit of cleanup to do, but nothing, nothing we can't handle. Um, let's just go ahead and use contagion to fill in some of the blanks We can we can let poison like do its work Um, and I guess we can just use our normal spell to kill a couple of lads Nice uh, yeah, that's it. So we're going to take some damage over here. We can repair. We can rebuild. Um, let's just kill that guy there and then let the poison set in. I, I can't remember if po the, like, the poison damage counts towards kills. We can't even we don't even have the movement to get over there. I guess they are were like severely wounded So it wouldn't make a lot of sense if they could um, I need to kill this guy He's still not dead two power shots We're not okay We're not okay <laughs> Let's move our druid over maybe he can get over and Actually, if you could get over and, and heal this dude, might be a good idea. Oh, that wall is almost destroyed. At the very least, if I could heal him at all, it would save me. Nope, there's no way. Okay, never mind. I was going to say it would save me uh, a bit of resources healing the guy up in our next round. Okay. Uh. This is going to be rough. Oh, what? He killed almost 30 dudes and he didn't level up? Really? Wow. He killed more than anyone else and he didn't level up. Okay, so same business again. We really need to get a hammer or something of like value. Um, all right, let's get our knight reward. See what that's about. Melee weapon. Ooh, what's this eye patch? Plus one action point. That's really decent. Um, really not a fan of the book. I have had very, very bad experience with that book. I, I don't think it's worth it at all. Um, kind of want to give the eye patch to our bow. Can he not? Oh, it's a it's a head slot. Oh, wow. Okay. Gives them resistance. Might be... I, like, I, I understand it's probably... It would probably be worth giving it to our melee user. And if our melee user dies, by the way, there's no chance that we're, like, recovering from that. 
Uh, we need to increase your damage. Opportunism is tempting, but I'm going to reroll these. Uh, I'm going to reroll those. Well, I guess opportunism. <laughs> uh... Yeah, maybe. I mean, I know experience gained is not... I know it's a trap. I understand that, but... Could be worth it. One by one is tempting right now, but I don't really have the like the ability to make it work for me. So I feel like there's better things we could give. Every seven mana spent, restore one action point. I, I feel like Lone Wolf would be better right now. Because it's just a it's just a straight up damage improvement. Florian can level up. Florian, uh, resistance reduction. More move points would actually be really decent for them. Momentum would be kind of interesting. But they, they really need more health. Um, whenever the hero has three or less... Wait, can we give them... We can give them this armor is increased by 110% of the hero's daily health regen. That wouldn't be bad. This Relentless, actually, it would be really good for them because every time they make a kill, they're going to get movement points, which is perfect for them. So, <clears throat> we unfortunately have to dedicate some money towards building an in a, a temple. There's no, like, we can't, we can't afford not to. And I don't think there's a good place for it either. I think that's by design. Uh, even if we got rid of some of these extra, like, buildings, I guess, like, here wouldn't be terrible, but I'm not really a huge fan of this town setup. So we'll put it there. We are going to have to destroy some of these buildings at some point. Um, I think we have enough that we can upgrade... A couple of these things so let's do we'll upgrade this production and we'll get 40 of that back so we can upgrade each of these in the, in much the same way as long as we dedicate um one worker towards him doesn't quite pay for itself but it gets pretty close uh then we have three workers left we're gonna have to put some money towards improving our our general health Let's do offering. And that way we can at least almost fully recover this guy. Then we definitely need to do mana. So why don't we go ahead and spend... Uh, yeah, like everyone's lacking mana. So why don't we go ahead and spend 40 to improve our restore mana. And that way everyone will get a nice chunk back. And 33... Like I may as well spend the 33 to improve someone's mana by a lot whoever needs the most who who's the, this guy's got 40 total 72 i think that they would benefit the most they are the druid so yeah they would benefit the most probably and they since they didn't it didn't fill them up that tells me that that was the correct decision um so we have two workers left we could definitely destroy one of these shrines um, let's just get some more materials. We do want to make, uh, do sal salvage camps. Oh, I just realized there's not a lot of knights in this campaign. There's not as many as I think in, as in Lakeburg, or maybe there is, and they're just going to, like, my perception is weird because they become a lot longer. Um, we don't have enough to buy any gear. Uh, you, you had a hammer as well. Ugh. Can't afford anything right now. <laughs> it's such a bummer. Um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and buy some more ballistas. Let's do like two more maybe on each side. And 
And one there. Did I put one in front of a gate? Did I did I do that wooden wall? No. Okay. Oh, you know what? I, I should reserve some to repair. So that's that's gonna mean we don't actually have enough to uh, build that last one. Oh well. That's fine. Um. So how am I feeling about this? Well, we're alive, so I have to assume I'm doing something right. Uh, I definitely don't feel great. But what can you do? You know, it really is like, what can you do? I'm a little bit worried that like we don't have the seer yet. We, we won't get the seer for a little bit. Uh, I'm kind of concerned that, you know, how long it's going to be for us to snowball in our growth department. That's something uh, I'm a little bit concerned about. We definitely need more heroes. We need a lot more money. Um, these are going to be giving us 40 gold now instead of, uh, I think it was 25 before. So we will get some more gold in the next round. Um, but uh, I think that that's, that's, a good, that's a pretty good start. You know, we, we saw some A's, but we mostly saw S's. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a nightmare. But um, the show must go on. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this series. Definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.